What's going on everybody? David here from Blue Cruise Videos and Collectibles and today I have a brand new video for y'all and this time it is another Jurassic World Dino Rivals tour review and we will be going over the uh, Wave 4 Attack Pack Dinosaurs Assortment line. Um, on this one we have one new species and two repaints and uh, so we have Velociraptor Echo Dimorphodon and a Mononychus. So, you know the drill. We'll be usually going over the packaging, uh, taking out the dinosaurs, looking at the cards that come with it, and uh, do some size comparisons. And, you know, we're going to do a, a collection update. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you can tell, this is just a irregular standard uh, attack pack packaging. And, um, Basically, it says uh, Jurassic World on the left-hand corner, and then we got new right here on the top right-hand corner, and then we have our dinosaur uh, in the middle, and then at the bottom we have Dino Rivals, and then we have Ages 3 and Up, that's me, and then we got the T-Rex on the left side, we have the Triceratops on the right side, and we have Owen that doesn't really need to be there for the time being until the new movie toy line comes out. And then we have uh, one card that's included that's in the back. And then the card back, it has um, uh, the T-Rex uh, skull uh, logo. And um, like I mentioned in previous videos when doing these reviews, um, I wasn't too fond of this packaging at first, but it grew on me considering the fact that... Um, it does have that stylized uh, packaging that reminds me of the uh, old Kinder days when they made the Jurassic Park uh, toys with the uh, color colorization and everything and how it's uh, being presented. So it's got that nostalgia feel to it. And um, here at the bottom it says Velociraptor Echo. And my apologies if I already said that before. And then Dimorphodon and Monolycus. And then on the back of the packaging, uh, it's pretty much all the same uh, on all three uh, cards. <clears throat> we have the uh, Jurassic World Facts app, Attack Pack, and then Jurassic World there. And then in the middle, um, we have the new uh, assortment with the repainted Dimorphodon and uh, Raptor, along with the new species of Mononychus. And then we have... Uh, the re-release of the Herrerasaurus and the Siloris. And then here at the bottom, we have uh, all the copyright information, all that fun stuff. We've got the uh, JurassicWorld.com, Universal logo right there, the Amblin Entertainment logo there, and we've got the Mattel logo right there. So, uh, these are currently at Target. You can... Uh, Go into your local Target or your surrounding areas because Target has officially reset their stores uh, as far as when it comes to their toy stuff. Um, so they're trying to push out all the old uh, stock that's been sitting there and it's pretty much uh, on clearance or on sale. And um, I've seen that uh, at some Targets they've had some old uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom stuff that they've just set out there and that's for sale. So if you might find something you hadn't picked up from that uh, series, then by all means, just check out your Target and see what you can find. And Walmart's too, uh, same thing, they, they're in their reset mode as well. Um, I haven't seen these attack packs at Walmart yet, but I just know that they're at Target for the time being. So anyways, um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get on with these reviews. Okay, first up we have Velociraptor Echo. And normally when I have uh, the Hasbro version, I like to compare Mattel to Hasbro. And nine times out of ten, you know, pretty much about 99% of the time, if not 100% of the time, Mattel's uh, product blows Hasbro's uh, products out the water. So um, in, this, in this case, it's no different. Uh, just a little bit, um, to be honest, uh, as far as the sculpt goes and... Uh, accuracy to the film as far as the color is you know I'm not gonna lie I might give the slight edge to Hasbro and simple fact because one Mattel's Echo is pretty much a straight 
repaint. Um, Hasbro's paint scheme when it comes to the movie uh, accurate is a little bit better, even though Echo is more of a she is yellow, but has some some green mixed in. So uh, as far as Echo goes here for the Mattel's version, um, it's almost there, but. If you had spread out the green all over the body mixed in with the yellow, you probably would have had a winner there. But um, I, I do like this color a little bit better compared to that. It's a little bit more neutral, in, in my opinion. As far as the scope goes, um, the head scope is pretty good. Um, this thing is uh, uh, one of the electronic growlers, so it's very oversized and... Um, and there's a reason why it's still in this package because it doesn't stand too well. <laughs> but anyways, uh, enough of that. So let me know in the comments below what you think uh, is better. Do you like the Hasbro's version or do you like uh, the Mattel's version? Okay. So let's go ahead and take a moment and take Echo out of her package. Okay, let's go ahead and check out uh, Echo's uh, card. And as you can tell, she's pretty up there when it comes to all her stats. Uh, I like the artwork and everything. I think it's really well done. And um, her strength is at a 7, her speed is at a 9, her smarts is at a 9, and her aggression is at a 9. So that brings a total of 34. So, very cool. Love these cards, you know. Um, can't wait to finish collecting all these cards and stuff so I can put them in a the binder and stuff. So, it'd be very cool to have these cards on display if possible. And then, on the back, is just the Dino Rivals uh, Jurassic World uh, logo right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Echo herself. So, Echo's pretty much a. Uh, the basic crouching raptor that we've all seen before from the uh, first attack pack series from the Fallen Kingdom line. So, <clears throat> this is pretty much a, a straight repaint. So, nothing new offered to the table except for, you know, a repaint. And uh, I know a lot of people don't like this uh, crouching raptor thing, but I do. Um, I think it's different, and um, and I think because the fact that, and we'll compare it to it here in a minute, that it pays a uh, homage. And this is my opinion that I think it just pays homage to the uh, um, Kenner uh, Jurassic World or Jurassic Park, the Lost World uh, Cyclops Raptor, you know, because it has this pretty much same uh, crouching pose and everything. So, like I said, as far as the paint scheme goes. Um, this is almost movie accurate. Um, none of the, except with the exception of blue, none of the attack pack raptors from the raptor squad are like their movie counterparts as far as their color goes. <laughs> um, this should be yellow mixed in with green all over the place, you know. And um, <clears throat> so basically, you just get the green on top and. Uh, why they have it around the eyes like that, I don't know. Um, but hey, I don't do the painting, so what do I know? So we've got all this green color all the way down to here. It stops, and as usual, it does not continue all the way down to here. If it had continued right here, I'd have been happy, you know, because at least it's on the actual tail itself, but it's not. Um, as far as articulation goes, it's just your basic articulation. Uh, the legs move forward and back, you know, nothing that it will do to give it any more dynamic pose or anything except for like, it could probably make it stand up just a little bit more like that, but it's at a crouching position, so there really is no need for you to really move it anywhere else, and plus, you know, the hand is positioned downwards too, so um, you would want it to make sure that it has its hand on the ground too as well. And the same thing with this one. This is about the only thing that you could really move that would make sense if you wanted to have it like that. <clears throat> but, sorry about the shaking. 
Um, and as far as the head sculpt goes, probably the best one of the best head sculpts in the business when it comes to uh, their Raptors. Way better than what Kenner's done and Hasbro has ever did. You know, as far as uh, head sculpts goes. So, and uh, got a little bit of pinkish tongue right there. Teeth uh, are painted. So, really like that. As far as the eye goes, got a little bit of green that leaked up inside the pupil a little bit. Uh, this one, not so much. Uh, never mind. Yeah, it's got a little bit of green on there. So, but other than that, still a good head sculpt. You know, I like it. So, let's go ahead and do some comparisons real quick. <clears throat> let's move that out of the way. Let's put Echo right there. Oops, something fell. And then let's bring out the Kenner Cyclops Raptor. And as you can tell, uh, this Raptor pretty much dwarfs <laughs> the uh, Mattel one because this one's the Kenner version is large and this one's super small so yep <clears throat> and let's go ahead and bring out the rest of the raptor squad that we have um, there is delta and there is blue now I'm using the blue attack pack version, you know, because they're all attack packs. And I don't have uh, Charlie at the moment because my buddy, Kevin the Tattoo Toy Hunter, he had picked up Charlie and the Mosaurus for me uh, a while back. And uh, whenever I get them, I'll uh, do a review for those two and plus the one that I picked up that goes with that set. And um, we'll take a look at all the whole entire Raptor squad later on but for now this is what I have and um, we have Owen right here so once we get Charlie in the mix we will have a full Raptor squad let me know in the comments below what you think of this Raptor squad you know and um, which one is your favorite out of the, out of the bunch and then I'll probably ask it again whenever I get Charlie and review her. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, up next is the uh, Dimorphodon. And like I mentioned before, this is another repaint. And uh, we'll compare a couple of Dimorphodons uh, with this one. And, uh, and let me know what you think is your favorite out of the bunch. Um, there's other Dimorphodons that I don't have that came in like special uh, exclusive packs. Um, I'm not interested in really getting those. I mean, if I come across them or if, or if I see a good deal on these packs, then yeah, I'll probably pick them up and stuff. But um, I don't have to have all of them, you know. I mean, it'd be nice, but if I don't have them, it's whatever to me. I'm not going to go out my way to, to try to pay secondary market prices for something that you know I already have it's just a different color but it's just me you know um, even though I am a completist when it comes to a lot of things I just don't have to have all the exclusive stuff that comes with all the extra repaints and all that stuff so yeah, anyways uh, let's go ahead and take this Dimorphodon out of its package and take a closer, <coughs> a closer look at it and one of the things that I almost forgot to do that I remember it as I was uh, opening up the Dimorphodon and taking them out the packages is I forgot to uh, do a comparison with the Hasbro version so luckily I remember it and I was able to put everything back except for the card so anyways uh, so here's uh, Mattel's uh, a version of the Dimorphodon compared to Hasbro's version Dimorphodon and as you can see that this is a fairly oversized uh, Dimorphodon than what it should be as it's uh, part of the Growlers line and um, <clears throat> the, uh, 
The one that Mattel did is pretty much uh, scale accurate when it comes to the humans. Um, almost. I think it might be a little bit tad bit too big, but um, it's uh, it's pretty much on par with of what we got when it comes to in scale with humans and, and dinosaurs. So it, it might be a little bit tad too big, but it, at least it's not a giant like a Hasbro's version. And um, I do have a loose one as well, so we can compare that too as well when we get everything uh, out of the package and reviewed. So anyways, um, let me know what y'all think. Uh, do you like Mattel's version better, or do you like Hasbro's version? And um, let me know down in the comments below which one is your favorite of the two. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Dimorphodon card. And uh, again, I uh, do like the artwork. I, I always enjoy all the, pretty much most of the artwork that comes with uh, uh, on the cards and stuff. So anyway, so the strength is at a 5, the speed is at a 7. Brains is at a 4, and its aggression is at a 5, so it's a total of 21. A little bit on the weaker side, but pretty much almost neutral, like in the middle, in between, so not bad, not bad. Alright, and then on the back of it, you know, i got the standard Dino Rivals and Jurassic World logo. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Dimorphodon. Alright, um... I must say I do I do like this uh, paint scheme the best out of other ones that I have. Originally, it was uh, my favorite one was the Wave Two attack pack from the Fallen Kingdom line with the uh, the Morphodon that came with that. But I think this one is the winner in my book. Um, I do like the uh, the color of it and. Um, I like the way the pattern is underneath and everything. So, this is pretty much uh, my favorite Dimorphodon that I have in my collection. So, I really like this color. This is uh, more of a, uh, a natural color, in my opinion, I think. So, really like this one. And uh, so, pretty much the same articulation. Wings go up or down. They both are on the ball joint. So these wings can rotate, you know, all the way around. So if you want to have them like this, you can have them like that. And then the feet just both go up and down, or forwards and backwards. They're on a hinge. And then the jaw. As far as the eyes go, I don't know if you can tell me. Oops, sorry. Let me try to. Sorry about the lighting. So, actually, looks pretty good. The eye is pretty good. So, yep, you can barely see that dot right there. So, the eyes are are good on this one. On our mind, I don't know about others. Um, you do have a uh, hinge in the neck that goes up and down. And then the jaw goes all the way open. Uh, pink tongue right there and the gums. A uh, little sloppy on the teeth on mine. But other than that, um, very good. I like this one. So if you want to compare this to the Hasbro's one, you can tell it's pretty much way too big has bros and the wings are a little bit weird <laughs> but um yeah but then as far as others go here is the one that came with the fallen kingdom line the attack pack the original so and then here is my favorite one from that line that I really liked. This was my favorite one. This one's like more uh, movie accurate, you know, as far as color goes and all that fun stuff. So, but um, I really like this one though. 
This one's my favorite, favorite of the bunch. And um, here is Owen. So, like I said, um, these are pretty much almost in scale. They just need to be a little bit more smaller. Like, I think this would be about half the size at least. But it's close, you know. I mean, they weren't very that big, but they were just a little bit, a little bit smaller though. So, but uh, yep. Dimorphodon. No. Stands pretty good, so really like it. And um, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, and then last but not least, we have the Mononychus. Um, I don't know anything or any information about the Mononychus. Uh, this is a new species to me, as well as it's a new species for the uh, Jurassic World uh, toy line. And um, I don't think we've ever gotten a toy of the Mononychus of any kind over the years. If I have, or not, not if I have, but if we have... Uh, in the past, from any toy line from the 80s, 90s, or 2000s, um, let me know in the comments below, you know, if you know any information about that. I would love to see if there's another figure out there of this particular animal, but I, I don't think we have. I think this is the first time we've had a toy of this of any kind from any company, and uh, so it's very exciting, you know. It's one thing that I have to give props for Mattel, um, <clears throat> is that... They actually added new species that we've never had before, that we haven't had, period, or that's, um, that's pretty much uh, uh, amazing for the simple fact that, sorry, <laughs> for the simple fact that, um, that not a lot of companies do this, especially when it comes to uh, major collectibles. Um, that people like to collect uh, dinosaur models and stuff, and those companies out there, they pretty much um, rehash the same stuff and repaints and stuff. Uh, not to say that Mattel doesn't do that because they do, but they add new species and new uh, things that we haven't had before. Period. You know, and plus, you know, basically what they're doing is they're taking dinosaurs from all sorts of Jurassic Park uh, uh, stuff, from video games, the movies. And uh, books and, and, and things like that. Any kind of species that's mentioned, uh, they make a toy of it. You know, that's which, which is pretty cool. Um, this uh, animal is actually in Fallen Kingdom. Um, it's one of the uh, statues, I think. That's if I can remember. I think it, it was like a couple of statues of these uh, creatures that were in the Lockwood Mansion. So uh, they do have an appearance. They're not live or anything. They're just statues of it. So that's all. That's pretty cool. So, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take this out of the package and take a closer look at it. All right, and as always, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this card. As you can tell, I, I ripped mine trying to get it out of the packaging. Um, that's why I still got the tape on there, so it can kind of somewhat sort of hold it together. But that's what happens when you put tape on stuff and poorly executed when it comes to putting these uh, cards in, you know, but uh, oh well, it is what it is, so as usual, wonderful artwork, and let's look at the stats, its strength is very weak, it's on the 2, speed is at a 10, so it's fast as hell, <clears throat> and um, eight. you got claws, what, that's a, uh, they, I, didn't, I didn't even know that. I didn't know they had one big old claw. They, like I said, I don't know anything about this species, so um, it's a surprise to me. So, oh, very cool. And the uh, brains is at a three, and its aggression is at a three, so it's an 18. So, a little bit on the low side, but hey, they, they all can't be super beasts, right? So, but anyway, so here's the standard uh, Dino Rivals in Jurassic World uh, logo. On the back of the card. All right, so the Mononychus itself, um, like I said, this is the first time in this line, and it's the first time that we have a feathered dinosaur. So, which is very exciting, especially to us uh, collectors, uh, 
Jurassic World collectors and Jurassic Park collectors alike. Um, <clears throat> we finally get a feathered dinosaur. So, exciting stuff. So, we can't wait to see uh, what else um, Mattel has to offer when it comes to feathered dinosaurs. So, really like this one. Um, this one's pretty much the winner of the whole bunch here. I like the gray color that it has, the color uh, scheme as far as uh, uh, the way this was executed. And I um, like the fact that, you know, it adds a little bit of dark gray here at the, at the end of the, at the tail. And um, also, we got the yellow feet down here. You know, it's gray and the yellow blends in into the gray. And uh, surprisingly, if I'm looking at this correctly, I want to say that they actually painted the claw. Or is that just my imagination? I think it's just my imagination. Uh, I was starting to get hyped. I'm like, yes, they finally actually painted one claw. <laughs> That's what it looks like on camera and when I'm looking at it in person. But, uh, oh well. And then, you know, here comes the feathers all out into the arm and everything like that. So very cool. Love the uh, texturing of it. You know, this is probably the best one out of the bunch. Just the other two, you know, simple repaints. Um, as far as the head sculpt goes, uh, the eyes, it's pretty good on that side. And then on this side, yeah, it's a little, a little, can't really, you can see the dot, but not really. But, um, it's just right there at the edge, so. <clears throat> a little mishap on that one. I think you can see a little bit better now, you know, but... Overall, still a good figure, and as far as articulation goes, you know, the feet go up and down, up and down, and there's little little nubs right here, go up and down, there, they're all on the hinge, the neck is on the hinge too, uh, wish that mouth could open, but hey, that's what you get when you get a little $7 figure, or whatever, so... Very cool, really excited about this. This is a very, very cool species to add to the collection. So, um, as far as, uh, <clears throat> as far as size comparison goes, um, I don't really have anything to compare this to, but, um, from my understanding, these are a lot smaller. So, we have Owen right here to compare it to, and, and, they are a lot smaller than I think about it in the movies. They pretty much go waist high. So, at least about waist waist height. From what I remember from the movie. So, it is a little bit oversized, but nonetheless, you know, it still works, you know. I like it. Very happy with it. And, uh, let's go ahead and do a collection update. Alright, first off from the collection update, we have all the attack packs so far that we've uh, picked up and reviewed. So we got the Protoceratops from the back, and the, uh, the Dracorex, and the Ramparinkus, and then in the middle we got Velociraptor uh, Delta, we got the Solaris and the Herrerasaurus, and at the bottom we have the Dimorphodon uh, Velociraptor Echo, and the uh, Mononychus. And from the Savage Strike line, we have the, on top, we have the Strexors, the Metrodon, and the Tapejara. And then in the middle, we got the Monolophosaurus and the Pachycephalosaurus. And at the bottom, we have the Dilophosaurus, Velociraptor Blue, and a Velociraptor. And that's pretty much the Velociraptor from JP3. It's what we're figuring, because, you know, it's got... The the quills on the back of it, so. Anyways, uh, moving on. And from the Roarvores line, we've got the Baryonyx, the <laughs> the Ankylosaurs, um, the Metricanthosaurs, and the Ceratosaurs. And from the Dual Attack line, we have the Triceratops, the um, Paraceralophus, and the concavenator. 
Also from the uh, dual attack line, we have the Pteranodon, and uh, we also have from the battle damage line, the Abretosaurus. And we also have the Bite and Fight Tyrannosaurus Rex. And last but not least, we have the Beast herself, the uh, the Swallow and <laughs> I can't even remember his name. The Slash and Strike and Super Swallow eating Indominus Rex. I know I butchered his name, but or the actual call, or uh, what is wrong with me? Um, yeah, the slash and strike and swallow Dominus Rex. Uh, my apologies if I butchered his name, but anyways, yep, that's the last thing of the collection. So let's go ahead and wrap up this video. And before we get going, I know some of y'all are probably going to be asking me for these, so uh. Before we get out of here, let me go ahead and give you all the little Jurassic Fact Zap thing. So here is Echo for y'all. Let's see if we can get a move. Yeah. So here is the Fact app scan for y'all for Echo. And here is the Fact app for the Dimetrodon. See that, and also, last but not least, here is the Fax app, Fast app, Fast <laughs> Fax app thing for the uh, Mononychus. Man, I am butchering at the end of this video, aren't I? Shame on me. Anyway, so, hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know this was a little over half an hour long. I do apologize, but it happens. And anyways, so, um, if you're new to the channel, please like this video. Sub to the channel. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I did uh, uh, making it for y'all. And um, if you haven't hit the notification bell, please do so so you can receive all my uploads. And don't forget to check out all my other Jurassic World uh, Dino Rivals review playlist. Um, also, you can check out my Fallen Kingdom reviews. I still got some items for that, for that uh, line to review. Also, um, check out my tour reviews, eBay purchases playlist, and all that good stuff. Just check out all my playlists. And um, <clears throat> leave it down in the comment below what you think of the, your favorite uh, dinosaur from this uh, wave and uh, where's the wisdom buy what you love and not what you like because if you buy what you like you will always end up getting rid of it and I will catch y'all later